Hi everyone, my name is Wanda Kay, and I have a couple of questions I want you to consider. Who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing? Dr. Harris Parker called me into his office one day. I was 21 years old, and I did not want to disappoint my professor. He said, Wanda, I just got this paperwork and I have to sign it, but I had to talk to you before I put my signature on this paper. Do you realize the implications of what you're doing? I said, yes, sir, I do. I'm leaving school. He said, Wanda, you don't have that many more credits to go. How, how can you leave? I sat there knowing I couldn't tell him that there were forces pulling and tugging at my heart and my world that just made it impossible to continue on. I went to school with girls who had everything paid for and I was working my way through. And I had to work hard and I had to withstand a lot of forces that were standing in my way just to be there. And everything was coming to such a point that I knew it was be able to withdraw and maybe return or fail. And I knew that if I failed, I would be kicked out. My grades were excellent. They were good. And Dr. Harris just shook his head while all these thoughts were going through my mind. And he said, Wanda, I've taught a long time. And I only see so many true educators that come through these doors. He said, you're a master educator. You can't go. How will you ever share your gift? And it was in that moment of blessing from him, knowing that I sat before my um, professor, of religion and philosophy who I so respected and admired and to have him believe in me that much words came to me I don't even know where they were but they were prof prophetic as it turns out and they were real and I said Dr. Parker thank you so much for the gift that you've just given me and there's one thing I know I am a master educator and while I know you're distressed that I won't be sharing my gifts in the halls of academia, that I won't stand before a room with rows of desks and students. I do know this. I will always be a teacher. I will always be an educator. And I will always be looking for those teachable moments. And I want to thank you for believing in me. He sighed. There were tears in his eyes, and he signed the paper, and he said, Please know, if you ever want to come back, I'll do everything I can for you. I thanked him, and I left. And that was the last time I spoke with Dr. Harris Parker, Jr. I found out recently that he died in 2010, having stayed in the halls of academia that he loved so well, encouraging other students and sharing his gift. And you know what? I've continued to teach. Ever since then, in different ways and methods, whether it was taking on students as a tutor or teaching my own children, I've always been a teacher. And now I'm here with you. And I'm asking you something. Who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing? You know, when I was a child and I heard those questions, it usually wasn't something you wanted to answer very quickly because you were in trouble. And then as an adult, when people would ask those questions, they had assumed something about me. They had assumed something about my limitations that wasn't true. They had assumed things about my value and greatly underestimated my worth. Has someone asked you who you think you are and asked you what you think you're doing? And do you know in your deepest part of you that they've grossly underestimated you and they've made a big mistake? 
Maybe you gave up on those dreams, but I tell you, are you still breathing? You still here? There's still time. Today's the day we get started. I hope this video has been a blessing to you, and I hope if you don't have anyone out there to be an encourager, to cheer you on the way, that you'll message me. And I hope you'll never give up on your dream, and I hope you have someone in your life to ask you those questions in a way that makes you stop and think. Please like, share, and comment, and I'll look forward to talking with you again soon.